expensive. Billions of dollars in healthcare costs in a country for just a few dollars of sunscreen. That's a really great investment, actually. Yeah, um, sometimes Australia does things really well. But the, the problem, though, is that you know, for those of us who grew up without the sunscreen, we have this damage that we're probably stuck with, though increasingly we're learning you might be able to reverse that damage as well. And that was part of this study uh, by Mariani Baroni as well. Um, they looked at the application of senolytic drugs um, to these skin cells and then measured the results. They did. So let's talk about skin aging from a, a really modern perspective, which is that skin is full of senescent cells. These are zombie-like cells that reach a point where their epigenome is so dysregulated that they check out of the system, they They're stop no dividing. They're reproducing. Right, they don't divide. And we can stain them blue with a dye called beta-galactosidase. And they're, they're pretty common um, in an older person. The problem is that they secrete these inflammatory factors and also what are called mitogens that stimulate cancer. So they're not good things. And in mouse and increasingly in, in a few human studies, we know that if you delete these cells, kill them off, you get rejuvenation of the body. Um, it includes internal organs. You can treat diabetes with it, but the skin becomes rejuvenated. And in this study, what they did was they took out skin biopsies from people and grew them in tissue culture dishes. So it's ex vivo. And they could then treat them with senolytic drugs. Um, they used a couple a pretty common ones. One's called ABT263, which is from Abbott. It's also known as Navitaclax. And they also used rapamycin, which we've talked about before as a way of mimicking starvation in the body or fasting at least. And what they found was that those skin um, explants, as they're called, grew thicker, which is what you want if you're reversing aging. But they also could measure the clock. They had a special skin clock that they had built themselves out of measuring the DNA methylation chemical patterns during aging of skin. And there they did find that this senolytic treatment reversed the age of those little pieces of skin. The, the implications of what you're talking about uh, in regards to the senescent cells are really interesting because, again, what we're talking about is the body's largest organ. And it's not a system unto itself. It interacts with all of these other systems. So if we have senescent cells secreting these uh, these cytokines all over the place, they're not just staying in the skin. They're going to move other places too. So if you can lower the age of the skin you can save the rest of the body. That's exactly right. Uh, and Jim Kirkland from the Mayo Clinic has found that if you just put what we call it, what he called a dab of senescent cells under the skin in a mouse, it causes the whole mouse to get older. So lowering the overall burden of senescent cells is a good thing. And where are most senescent cells in the body? Because of the damage from UV light, you get them mostly in the skin. Okay, so one of the ways to do this potentially, to, to fix this problem potentially, is retroactively. We can address it with some kind of senolytics. We can also do it proactively by just simply avoiding all that UV light, wearing sunscreen, 